2023 is right around the corner and it's a great opportunity to dive into photography if you haven't already. Now, you could go from using a DSLR to a smartphone, but no matter what, you're probably going to find that you need some form of photo editor so that way you can modify your images in post-production. And I think On One is the best photo editor for new photographers. And here's the reasons why. On One has some really good tools in order to organize your photos. And that's probably one of the most important things that you need, because if you don't have your photos organized, then you're probably not going to be able to find them. Now, inside of On One, you can tag your photos with keywords, which is extremely, extremely helpful. You can also tag them with color labels, with star ratings. So that way, if you want to find your three star images, then you'll be able to find them. If you want to find just two star images, you can find those or maybe images with yellow tags and green tags. Nonetheless, you'll be able to find your images. The other thing that On One has is something called albums. Now, these are my favorite workplaces or workspaces, so to speak because I can take photos from all over my hard drive and collect them into one area without having to move the photo to different folders on my actual hard drive. And then I can make the edits the way that I wanna make them and then modify the images and they all live right in their same places. Albums are by far one of the most underrated features inside of On One. And what's also cool about these is you can stack them. So let's say you're working on a photo book for the year because you want to take all the images across the year and put them into one album and you want to do it by month. You can create a top layer album that says uh, photo book 2023 and then put January, February, all the way down through the months and just drop all your images in there. So when you're ready to go print your photo book, you'll have all of those photos ready to go. Now, the other feature that comes with organization is being able to find your images and On One has a extremely advanced search feature. Now, I'm not gonna cover that in today's video, but if that's something you're interested in, drop a comment down below. Let me know that you're interested in the search feature and I'll be more than happy to do that. If you are just looking for something that's simple to get your photos off of your SD card and onto your hard drive, On One is a phenomenal software that allows you to import your images and save them to a hard drive while renaming them. You can even apply keywords while you're doing this. So it makes it easier for you to find that photo of the fish in the mountains from 2010 or wherever it was that you took that photo 15 years from now. There's a lot of editors on the market, but On One probably is the easiest to use. You can change your white balance, you can correct exposure, you can make dynamic range adjustments, you can even get rid of that fuzziness in your photo called haze, or those little uh, dots in your image called digital noise, by using the develop module. Now, if all of that sounds way too complicated, On One has this feature called AI Auto. With one click, On One will edit your image and then take it to the next level. But it's not locked in stone. So what that means is you can go ahead and modify each one of those sliders to your heart's content to get the look that you were really going after. And you do all of this without having to know anything super deep about photo editing. On One truly does allow new photographers to go from images in their camera to quick edits and then sharing their images on social media and with their friends and family. And that's what photography is about, being able to share the moment that you capture. Now, I've been talking about a lot of stuff with On One to this point. And if you have questions, please leave it in the comment section below. But if you want to learn how to use On One Photo Raw because you're new to the program or you're considering picking it up, then check the description box below and you'll find two things. The first one is a link to a playlist that I created of all the teachings that I have so far using On One Photo Raw. I think you'll find that of value. And the second thing that you'll find is a link that will take you to the On One features page so you can really explore the features of On One because I'm really just scratching the surface. Now that is an affiliate link and at no extra cost to you, I get a small commission if you decide to purchase anything from the website using that link. 
Now, if you want to save a little bit of money at checkout, use Free Will Photos 20 as a coupon code, and that'll save you 20% on a perpetual license. On One Photo Raw, is not just a basic editor, it's actually an advanced editor. And as you learn more and you grow deeper in the photo editing aspect of photography, you're gonna find a lot of filters that are just extremely powerful. There's masking options, there is photo stacking, you can develop HDR, and if all of this is a foreign language, don't worry about it. What I really want you to take away is On One will grow with you as you learn more about photography and you don't have to go and buy another photo editing program because On One will offer that basic feature or that functionality to you. One of the most impressive things that I enjoy about On One is the perpetual license. I purchase one every single year out of my own pocket because I really do appreciate the program. And what that means is I'm not locked into a subscription. So if I choose not to upgrade, which there's a difference between upgrade and updates that we'll talk about here in a second. If I choose not to upgrade later on down the line, then I'll still have the editing software and I'll still have all of my ability to edit photos inside of On One. With the perpetual license, you get the latest version that you purchase and then all of the updates, which means for that version, which we're on 2023 right now. So until 2024 comes out with my license, I get all of the updates that come out for 2023 for free. Now, if you go with a subscription model and like anything that has a subscription, as soon as you cancel it or you stop paying on that subscription, then you lose access to the program, which means you lose access to your edits that are locked inside of the program. I'm not saying that this is the best thing or the worst thing. That's something that you have to decide for yourself. But I will say if you are a hobbyist photographer or you're just getting into photography, I highly recommend the perpetual license because that's gonna keep your photos safe and it's going to give you something that you can edit with for years to come and you don't have to worry about if you're not going to have access to your program later on down the line. Now, if you wanna see more edit videos, go ahead and click the video on the screen now. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.